what is going on everyone mike newfound passed with another what sold on ebay video yes sir we've got 20 items all on our main account a wide variety of uh items of course as usual we got pottery industrial stuff uh video games swimsuit dvd sculptures glassware clothing all kinds of good stuff and there's a pretty good one at the end so uh, stay tuned for that uh, a bows item so jump right in we got this black and white large unusual I had a difficult time explaining this because i couldn't figure out what the uh writing was on it you know i tried the translator apps and stuff and they don't work worth a you know what <laughs> but it was an asian oriental motif ginger jar you know i tried to do all the uh descriptors i could and uh yeah pretty nice sale though we picked this up for about five dollars seven dollars and fifty cents or so my wife like is really good at picking this stuff out this along with you know pottery and art glass and all kinds of good stuff forty five dollars and twenty five cents yeah pretty good stuff this uh actually got a better picture of this <laughs> this data tail triangle wall support this thing was super heavy it was like 15 pounds from one bracket um but i got three of these i'm pretty sure and i've sold two of them and one left so i guess people don't need multiples of these but this was a super heavy duty some kind of a low voltage application wall support bracket i got these for literally like two bucks a piece at our uh at one of our normal thrift stores quite a while ago they've uh taking a while to sell but they're brand new in the package you know not not a big deal but 24.99 out the door another piece of weather tech uh this is dwindling down only got a few pieces left and but every time i say that i'm like another one's old another one's old uh i got all these on a buyout from a local company that uh they did a you know special orders for people that never picked them up and i got them for really really inexpensive made a ton of money on these and this was a uh side deflector window deflectors for a 06 to 10 land rover or range rover uh 62 dollars 89 cents brand new in the box i do that deal over and over and over again a video game uh, final fantasy chronicles complete playstation one tested just yeah really good condition these all came from a huge buyout i did uh, and they sold for 19.99 and swimsuits, people are snapping up the swimsuits. We're coming into that season, even though, you know, everybody is uh, uh, quarantined, but uh, people have swimming pools. You know, we're going into that season. People open up their pools, getting warm. So these have been kind of flying out the door, which is pretty good. Uh, this one, I uh, got these at a, on a retail arbitrage deal at Gabe's. Uh, like, I bought like 30 of them. And this was a kind of a cherries design. Pretty, pretty neat. And size 16 brand new with the tags $45.65 next up another dvd a jag been selling an awful lot of jag i watched this when it originally aired and uh yeah they've just been kind of flying out the door now 20 bucks easy peasy i pick these up all the time for a buck or two at our regular thrift store this is season four brand new sealed in the package nice and a sculpture this buddha sculpture hand carved novica made in indonesia there's the tag right there yeah it's spelled out the art i guess that's the artist on the bottom spelled that out in the title yeah we picked up a lot of uh i think six total there was two of this design and two of another design and two of another design and almost all i think all of them have sold uh 24.99 we only paid you know our normal couple bucks each for these another ashtray this ruby glass blue opalescent single slot ashtray kind of an unusual design but really really cool really nice looking glass pick these up for all the time for just a few bucks nice shape on it almost like a a ufo or something but yeah nice thick glass though single slot yeah really nice uh, 35 dollars and 39 cents yeah definitely check out your ashtrays when you're in the thrift stores and garage sales and flea markets some fabric this is something that i've been meaning to talk about on my live shows but i have forgotten over and over again uh i just listed some more fabric yesterday and if you have fabric list it for sale today because people are using fabrics of all kinds to make masks make you know not surgical masks necessarily but you know just masks to wear out when they go grocery shopping and stuff and fabric is selling pretty darn quickly especially the tight weave cotton fabric man it is flying out the door my sister-in-law who is just a sewing person that's what she does as a hobby she has a 
attic full of fabric, but she's been making the masks herself and selling them, not for huge profit or anything, you know, reasonable prices for the amount of work that goes into them. But yeah, the, the fabric is flying out the door and I've had this for a while. And as soon as this stuff started happening, boom, it was gone. $33, 41 cents. This is the Waverly fabric enjoy stripe Brittany collection. And I did an approximate measurement. Yeah. So yeah, if you have fabric listed up, sell it. A vintage camera, this Minolta Hymatic. Um, yeah, it's a 35 millimeter. Yeah, 35 millimeter film. I guess the 45 millimeter meant the uh, the lens. But this is vintage. It had, uh, I think it had some film with it actually too. Yeah, it definitely meant the lens on the 45 millimeter. It even had the person's name on it and everything. Got this in a thrift store for like five bucks. You know, not that big deal at all. Where's that? There's the film that had a film canister attached to the strap and actually had a roll in it. So I included it with the sale and uh, sold for $45, 54 cents. So pretty easy. What you want to do on cameras though, is when you're in the thrift store looking at them, make sure you look at the lens, you know, really close up and make sure there's no fogging. That'd be fungus. And through the uh, eyepiece, uh, I don't think I have a good picture of it, but the eye, the glass eyepiece, make sure there's no fogging, which would be fungus, which people wouldn't buy your item if it had that. So just, you know, a little tip there. Next up, this 1979 Tom Wilson Ziggy's Macho Mug, 32 ounces. This thing was massive. I picked this up for a buck. This sold for $24.99. Packaged up really well, like I do all the time. You have, you guys, hopefully you've watched my live videos, me packing stuff up, coffee mugs and stuff. And I'm super careful with this stuff, but this thing shattered into a million pieces. <laughs> it happens. I think it went to Colorado. And of course, I refunded the person their money and filed an insurance claim and already got the check. And it's all good. It happens, unfortunately. You know, they play kickball occasionally, I think, in the uh, postal service warehouse with packages. So. Next up, another piece of pottery, the spaghetti uh, hand-thrown canister. It's really tall, 11 and 7 8 inches. This is signed. I didn't know who the artist was. I kind of briefly kind of searched, but couldn't find anything. So I just listed it up for a reasonable price, $24.99. Man, it sold. I think usually these would come with a cork top, and this did not have the cork top. But, you know, still sold. Not a big deal. These Jeff Hamilton NBA denim jeans it has patches of all the teams and stuff. Really, really cool jeans. I got these for about seven dollars and fifty cents or so. What I normally buy jeans for, and these were brand new. With I listed them as used, even though it had a tag on them. See the tag right there? Because I didn't know if it was purposeful, you know, distressing, or what. They just seemed used, <laughs> you know, even though I had the tag on. You know, sometimes people leave tags on hats because they think it's cool and stuff, but. Everything else about these screamed use, like the inside tags, like this one had curl to them. And that's what happens when you wear stuff and wash it and everything. And the uh, cuffs on these, I thought I took a picture, but the cuffs were seemed just worn and not purposefully distressed. So I went ahead and aired on the side of caution, listed them as used, showed that they had tags, but you know, it didn't matter. They sold $54.79 out the door. Another sewing thing, we got a memory card we picked up. My wife has a great eye for stuff, of course, and uh, we were checking out at one of our thrift stores and they had a CD rack with, you know, CDs in them because these are in a CD size case. So they just threw them in the CDs and CDs are like, you know, a quarter or 50 cents each. And there was a whole stack of these Janome or Genome sewing machine memory cards, you know, a little bit of vintage on them and stuff, but we literally only paid 25, 50 cents each for these and for like eight of them and I've sold probably five or six of them for you know anywhere from 15 to 25 dollars and that's what this one sold for 25 bucks free shipping of course but yeah just a memory card that goes in these uh sewing machines and it gives them the pattern to put on stuff so yeah pretty neat little thing to look out for if you're looking in the cd section another bathing suit the miracle suit like i said retail arbitrage yeah this one is a kind of a ship's wheel pattern Brand new with the tags, $58.33. Cha-ching. Uh, these Mikasa David Rockwell double old-fashioned glass set. I'm trying to remember when I was, you know, pulling these up to make this video and stuff. It's like, where did I get these? And sometimes you just, you know, just, it's not there. You know you bought them, but I can't remember where. I think these were thrift store, but I actually can't remember because we have bought similar stuff like this at garage sales. But 
whatever they are brand new the condition's gone up here for some reason but the uh they were brand new with the tags and uh yeah only paid a few dollars for them as usual and uh listed them up sold them 24.99 the skirt face face had this thing forever as you can tell by the picture uh face face below the knee overlay skirt telephone booth but it was pretty cool it was brand new with the tags but yeah you know obviously i should have taken better pictures it's not actually that bad you can see everything with it just the background's awful i should have cropped that out of there but uh, yeah, brand new with tags. Uh, I think my wife picked this up for like two dollars and fifty cents or so in the thrift store on a half price day, and uh, yeah, twenty four ninety nine out the door. Another piece of clothing: these Levi's jeans, five six nine, uh, forty thirties. That is, you know, I sell jeans of all kinds, you new, used, and I, I love them because they're so easy. You know, you get up, you buy them. You know, at the right price and the right condition, they're going to sell. Obviously, these are new, but I sell used Levi's all the time, too. But, yeah, $30.33. Probably paid about $7.50 to $10 somewhere. I normally do not go over $10 for jeans unless something's special about them. But, uh, yeah, just easy, easy sell. A puzzle. This is, I think, maybe this is the start of the beginning of the, uh, the quarantine stuff, you know, several weeks ago. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. But, yeah, the Wizard's Den. A 500 piece jigsaw puzzle had this one for a pretty long time but you know only paid a couple bucks for it 24.99 out the door and last item is <laughs> drum roll <laughs> bows uh, had this man this was in my garage at my other house ended up getting buried so i just forgot i had it and you know never got it listed i bought this at a charity thrift actually i remember when i bought it because it was i was like oh cool paid 10 bucks for it uh this was I did not list it as used, even though it looked like maybe it hadn't been. It had all the cables and everything, you know, wrapped up. The manual, the box looked kind of wrecked. It basically looked like it had been moved a thousand times, but it was retaped and retaped. It had the original insert and everything, but you know, got it listed up. Paid ten bucks for it. Listed it for, I think originally a hundred bucks, but then I lowered my price for a day or two, and bam, it sold ninety-seven dollars and three cents. And I did charge shipping on this one because it was quite heavy. I uh, can't even remember where this went, but yeah, when it's big and heavy, I go ahead and do calculated shipping because on the East coast, I mean, sh surely as the sun rises being on the East coast, if I listed this for free shipping, someone in California would buy it and it would cost me $40 to ship it. So that's, that's it guys. That is 20 items that sold on eBay. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, did not do a live six and I was doing do the sold video. So I'll hopefully be back tomorrow with another live video or another type of video, whatever. Just keep it out for that to make sure you like subscribe, please. And hit the bell. You know, you get notified of all our new videos we put up. We're trying to put something uh, pretty much every day. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. But thank you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.